So, <laughs> the one I got from Tang. Hey friends! Hey friends! Hey friends! It's me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me, Alana, back with my haul part two. The first one got a little long, and by little, I mean a lot long. <laughs> so I decided that I wanted to split them up into two parts. So the second part, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in and start talking about the books. So the first book that I will show you in this part two is Jane Anonymous by Lori Faria Stolars. I'm s I feel like I just butchered that and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got this because I had heard intriguing things about it. From what I understand, it's about a girl who escapes a traumatic experience and it's her dealing with the trauma of that, I guess, and I don't really know much else, and I'm okay with that. So, yeah, but I've heard, like, people have said this is, like, a really intriguing story, so I'm interested in finding out what happened. All right, the next book I grabbed, you probably saw a flash of that. <laughs> the next book I grabbed was The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. Okay, so I've heard so many things about this. I've heard, I've seen all the hype all the things, and I decided that finally it was time to grab it, especially because now it's in paperback, so it was cheap. <laughs> and I know the last book in this duology came out this year, or it's coming out this month, or something like that, so I'm intrigued to see how I like it. All I know about this is that there are monsters, this girl moves to this town, there's like a bunch of powerful families, and that's about it. Alright, so the next book I grabbed was The Diviners by Libba Bray. So, continue, continuing my trend of lateness, uh, I finally got intrigued by this after seeing all the hype for the past, like, two, three years. I don't even know. And so I was like, oh, this is what that series is about. Okay, let's get the first book kind of thing. I don't, again, don't know. All I know is it takes place in like the, what, 1920s of New York or whatever. And I was kind of intrigued. I'm usually not a big historical fiction person. But since I liked The Beautiful, and that's like more historical fantasy-esque, I was like, I'll give this a try and see if maybe that's a genre I can stick to. I think the thing that intrigued me was I felt like somebody said there was kind of like a squad in this, and I love squads. So, hopefully I'm not being misled. Please let me know down below if I am or not, if I'm right, or maybe I just dreamed that, I don't know. The next book I grabbed was A Heart in a Body in the World by Deb Coletti. I have been wanting this book for about a year or two since it came out. And when I saw the paperback editions, I thought it was so pretty. So I was like, yeah, it's definitely time to buy it now because it's gorgeous. And I'm really excited to get to this and read it. The next book I grabbed, or actually this was a book I won in a Twitter giveaway. It was The Lucky Ones by Liz Lawson. I've been eyeing this book for like a year now and so I'm super excited to check it out. So I know, I do know the synopsis of this one. <laughs> it's about a girl and a boy who end up experiencing a school shooting at their, at their high school and they both are affected in different ways so the girl her twin brother ends up being killed in the shooting and then the boy something happens i think his mom or something like publicly defends the shooter or something like that and so he becomes very ostracized because of that and so it's about both of them like dealing 
with the after effects of all this stuff that happened and then they kind of find like like a commonality in each other and yeah that's pretty much the gist that I got. And I'm kind of really excited to check this out because it sounds like it's going to be amazing. So you all know I read Renegades and so I couldn't resist. I went out and I bought Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. Um, I'm super excited to get to this when I can because then you know what happens next because of that reveal in Renegades, which I'm not gonna say because I don't wanna spoil anything. But that reveal was insane. And so yeah. I bought the second one and I am just as hyped for it. I'm excited to see what my babies are doing. Yes, I have adopted Nova and Adrian as officially my children. I know I'm 23, but that is okay. Yeah, so I will keep you updated on my thoughts on this. And can we talk about how big this hardcover is? I was like, oh, it's gonna at least be like a normal sized like hardcover. No, this thing is huge. Uh, and it's gonna bother me because I have a paperback version of Renegades and so yeah. I tried to get the paperback, I tried to see if this had a paperback version but it wasn't out yet and I was like I don't wanna wait that long so we'll see. Last three books I swear. Okay so the next book I grabbed was Crave by Tracy Wolf. I am not going to lie. I looked at this cover and I went holy crap that looks like Twilight. I'm buying it. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, it's a vampire book. Okay, now extra Twilight vibes. Definitely wanting to read this now. And I, de I, uh, I know it's not Twilight. I know it's not going to be like Twilight. And I know that my expectations should not be in that realm. But look at this cover. Does that not give you Twilight vibes? So yeah, I'm hyped for this. I know, again, I know it's not gonna be Twilight, but I am just hyped for the fact that vampires are making a comeback, and like, again, granted, they probably never really left, they just kind of took a back burner to all the other things that are happening, but they're, they're coming back to the front row of the, of the theater, and I'm grateful because Twilight, like, vampires are my thing. Like, give me a hot vampire any day, any time, and I will be there. So, I'm excited last two books and I'll show them together so one of these I got from Penguin Teen and the other one I bought because I was like I can't have one not the other kind of thing okay the one I received from Penguin Teen was Time Over Lives by Emily Wiberly and Austin Sigmund Broca and then the one I bought was If I'm Being Honest by Emily Wiberly and Austin Sigmund Broca so I read Always Never Yours and I really did enjoy that book and so they sent me this and I was like I really want to read this, but I felt like I should read this one next since this is like, like, they're not a series, but just publication wise, like this came next and then this one is after. So I was like, I should at least have all three so that way I can read both of these when I can and then I could be like, I read all their books so far. So <laughs> I did and I am super happy. <laughs> I'm really excited. I really did love Always Never Yours. I thought it was such a good uh, one. Like, I thought I liked how they intertwined Shakespeare, but like flipped it. So it was from like their perspective of Roslyn. So I'm intrigued to see what they do with both of these. I think this one, the theme is the Taming of the Shrew. So I'm intrigued to see what they do with this one. And then this one I don't think has a like Shakespeare ish theme. I think it's. Uh, it's on, it takes a different aspect, and so I am intrigued to see what they do with this one as well. I don't remember anything about the synopsis of both of these, but I'm pretty sure they will be pretty good, so that's okay. If you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, have you, if you've read any of these books at all, if you didn't like any of them, if you did, please just comment that, all of it, down below in the comments section <laughs> and if you're not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below i'm stealing the idea from my friend sylvia from wish fulfillment and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below you're all sunflowers in a world full of weeds